process of getting the rum into the bottle begins with 120,000 bottles rolling on the line every eight hours. I'm here, I prefer to be a bottle. This bottle here are going through a roller coaster. You're gonna go through a lot, you're gonna turn upside down, you're gonna come back down, you're gonna get picked up, you're gonna get dropped. What a better roller coaster than that. This scanner checks these bottles for chips or cracks in the glass, imaging 380 bottles per minute. and we'll reject any potential hazard to our customers. Then they're turned upside down and rinsed. And one real fact here is that they get rinsed with rum. We cannot use water. The reason why we cannot use water is that that residual water can affect the fruit in our rum. Bacardi uses 80,000 gallons of rum a year just to clean the bottles. Next, the bottles head to the filling station. There's a reason the action is behind plexiglass. The bottles travel up to 50 miles per hour. Because of all the timing, all the precision that is needed, for all these bottles to get on the star wheels, with one bottle that's hung up in one of those buckets, that's a crash. So imagine picking up glass from 15 up to 30, 40 bottles. That's a lot of work. 80 injectors fill the bottles in 10 seconds. The bottles are then capped and labeled with extreme precision. because you have these high-speed cameras taking nothing but pictures da, 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 of the front labels and the back labels. Each label is scrutinized to ensure it's placed within a fraction of an inch of the exact position. 